Place, London, time, present. Who? A duck farmer. What? Evolution. London was God's choice as the perfect spot for the next step in evolution for living animals when a duck was found with four webbed feet. Appropriately nicknamed Stumpy, a duck farmer in Hampshire found the eight-day-old duckling, which has two nearly full-sized legs behind the two he runs on. Using his little hind legs as stabilizers, the duck is doing well, hopefully inspiring other animals and successfully paving the way for more great genetic mutations in the future. Earlier today, tens of thousands of people marched through the streets of Vicenza, Italy, protesting against plans to expand a U.S. military base in the northern city. The anti-war protesters rallied against their government under Romano Prodi, who had already endorsed the decision. Protesters included left-wing militants and local residents. Some were even American nationals, carrying a banner reading, Not in Our Name, while another group held one reading, Yankees Go Home. Ooh. Yeah. Prince Harry allegedly will be serving in Iraq by the end of the month, said a British newspaper earlier today. He will be deployed along with his regiment near Basra in southern Iraq. Known by his regiment as Troop Commander Wales, he has been trained to command 11 soldiers. Prince William, who is second in line, cannot be deployed to war zones due to his position. Unfortunately for Harry, he's third in line to the throne, granting him the ability to fight. But I guess that's what you get for being a younger brother, Harry. Hopefully, if all else fails, and if the war in Iraq becomes like the communist struggle between America and Russia, in which they settled their disputes by playing chess and hockey, maybe the Middle, the Middle East conflict will end with a polo tournament, wherein the prince could score against Osama bin Laden on horseback, ending the war and creating world peace, resulting in a grand welcome ceremony with an abundance of tea. Thank God! America can finally breathe free, as last Friday the two moles planted on Bush's left temple have been removed for good and test results are expected next week to see if they were benign. We here at Y Witness hope that the moles were the root cause of Bush's decision to send troops to Iraq, effectively clouding his brain and judgment. I anticipate the quick withdrawal of, of soldiers as early as tomorrow. Now for what you've all been waiting for, your sports update with Caden Pfeiffer. Blah, blah, blah. Enough of those boring, meaningful stories and none of the good stuff, the juicy stuff, the sports. The annual NBA Rookie vs. Sophomore game left much to be desired as the sophomores ran away with it as they buried the rookies 155-114. to 114. Welcome to the league, rookies. The celebrity game also took place yesterday, including the likes of Chris Tucker, Carrot Top, Jamie Kennedy, Nelly, Bow Wow, Nick Cannon, and Reggie Bush, among others. The game itself showed off the celeb skills, or lack thereof. Reggie Bush actually mildly sprained his left ankle after going for a rebound forcing the pro football star to watch the rest of the game from the sidelines. Excited by the chance of winning another championship, 41-year-old NBA veteran Scotty Pippen wants to return to the league and play again. Good luck with that, Scotty. Last time I checked, you averaged less than five points a game, and that was your last season, three years ago. Appreciated by athletes and a beautiful eye candy for the fans, cheerleaders are found on the sideline of sporting events everywhere. But is cheerleading really a sport? We sent Thomas to the cheerleading competition to find out. This is Thomas Sorrentino reporting from the convention center. You're probably wondering why there's a bunch of cheerleaders around today. Well, there's a Northern California cheerleading championship um, put on by Universal Cheerleading Association. Thomas Pebble introduced the idea of organized crowd chants to the University of Minnesota in 1894. Although it the estimate that it's estimated that 97 percent of today's cheerleaders are females cheerleaders started out with all males do you think cheerleading is a sport duh definitely yeah definitely yeah are you guys having fun out here yeah it's really fun yes yeah oh yeah <laughs> uh-huh can you guys give me a little bit of a cheer? Uh, what your guys is saying when you guys are up in your guys' huddle and you guys go one, two, three, what do you guys say? We say little green. Yeah, we like all come together and we go one, two, three, little, little green. green. That's cool, that's cool. All right, thank you guys so much. You guys enjoy your guys' cheer competition. Have fun out there. Hope you guys get first place. Thank you. You're welcome, you guys. See you guys later. Good stuff, Thomas. Thanks for that bit. And that's about it in the world of sports. Back to you guys. 
Thank you, Caden, and I definitely agree. Cheerleading is not a sport. Now, Tessa, bring us the weather, baby. The weather tomorrow is taking a turn for the worst. We are expecting a high of 61 degrees with a low of 41 degrees. There is a slight chance of showers, so be sure to bring a jacket with you to your next session. Back to you guys. Have you been bombarded by hella lobbyists wanting your signature? Well, Melanie was as annoyed as I am, so we sent her on the scene to check it out. Melanie Ray here, reporting on the lobbyist invasion of the Hyatt Hotel. There is nowhere to hide from these lobbyists as they scour the hotel for signatures for their petitions. So you're a lobbyist here in Sacramento? Yes, I'm loving it here. Um, how many signatures have you gotten on your petition? Almost 200. I'm about two away now. Um, how long have you been standing in this hallway asking for signatures? Well, I was here for about a half an hour earlier, and then I left the convention center, but now I've been here for about an hour. Again. Have you had a lot of people wanting to sign the? Yes, everyone loves the one I'm doing because it um, changes provisional license back to six months instead of a year, and so most teenagers are in favor of that. Um, have you had any rude? Yeah, well, a couple. One girl threw my papers, and... Um, a couple of people have just said no and walked away really quick. But You're a lobbyist here at Sacramento? Uh, yes, I am. And how long have you been in this hallway asking for signatures? About um, two and a half hours. And have a lot of people said yes? Everybody except for a couple. And did the couple who didn't say yes, did they, were they rude to you at all? Yes, they were. They, they kind of um, told me off because they didn't want to own a donkey. I see. <laughs> and... Um, are you enjoying being a lobbyist here at Sacramento? It's quite a lot of fun. I, s I um, suggest that everybody try to be a lobbyist at one time or another because you get to debate bills and make initiatives and get signatures. Whether you like it or not, lobbyists are here to stay as they do their job and get signatures to pass their bills. Back to you guys. How would you like to sign my initiative? No. <laughs> what? No way does she get to Thank you, Melanie. Well, that about sums it up for us here at Why Witness News for the evening. I hope you guys had a pleasant stay. I'm Max Lichtig. And I'm Marissa King. Good evening.